In this video, we'll be going over the changes to the CISSP exam in 2024. For those of you who didn't know, the 2024 exam outline was published recently, and it's available on the ISC Squared website. I'm not going to waste anyone's time with this video, so I'll cut right to the chase. What does this mean for you? Well, for one thing, these changes take effect on April 15th, 2024. So if your exam is scheduled after that date, you'll have to know the new material. My recommendation would be to do one of the following, depending on your circumstances. If you've been studying for a while, let's say six months to a year, and you feel pretty good about your knowledge, try taking the exam before April 15th. If you're already scheduled to take it, I would just pay the fee to move your exam date sooner. If you've just started studying for the exam, try to take it in August or later. Again, if the date is already set, just pay the fee to reschedule it. It takes Cert Mike and all the other authors about a month or two, probably about two months, to update their materials. It took us about the same amount of time back in 2021 to update our website. With that said, we have a list here of all the changes that are coming to the exam. We've compared the new list to the old list, and we'll provide a link in the description to where you can look at this list in detail. To try and teach you any of this right now would be a waste of time because we know from experience that this doesn't fully represent all the new topics that will be added to the common body of knowledge. In 2021, we found well over 300 new terms that weren't mentioned in the exam outline, some of which had several pages of new material. So should we give this list any attention? Well, I do think it's an indicator, but in terms of the new topics and what's in the common body of knowledge, it's really just guesswork until the new common body of knowledge is actually published. So with that said, here's the list. We'll link it in the description. I know your time is precious. I see some videos popping up claiming to cover these topics in detail. I honestly recommend avoiding them because I guarantee they're just pulling from Wikipedia and other sources that don't really represent what ISC Squared wants you to know for the exam. I do want to point out that the most important change is the increase in Domain 1 weight, which went from 15% to 16%. This means that there will be a larger focus on Domain 1, which is heavily focused on leadership, governance, and risk management. The second change is the reduction in weight of Domain 8, which went from 11% to 10%. This means that there will be less of a focus in software security. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.